okay so let me explain so I know you guys noticed that like I have one eye where my lashes are just flourishing they're doing their thing and then the other eye I look like a naked mole rat well so the reason for that see there's a reason for that is because remember I don't know I'm not even sure if I even put a video up about this, but I have a video where I was like, you know, um, I want to do a video on how I do my lash extensions. Um, so right now I only have one eye done because I was testing out taking it off. Like I want to make sure that if I'm going to put it on that I'm able to take it off. You know, it's not something that I have to keep on all the time. So that's why this eye looks like that, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on now. For today's look, I am going to, I'm kind of freestyling it. What I want to do, my vision, is to have like a smoky, mossy green look with some glitter on the inner corners. Something very simple. I'm not trying to do too much glitter because the last look I did had glitter on the lid. And glitter, especially when you're wearing lash, lash extensions, is really hard to get out. So that's what we're going to do today. First, I'm going to do my brows. And I think I'm going to do my brows off camera because I do want to do an updated brow routine. But right now, we're not at the um we're not at the show you how to do my brows level yet you know like it it mm, my brows need some grooming and then I can you know start talking about you know doing a video because if we get up close we got we got some stragglers on there it's not too bad I actually need to redo my tinting because I do tint my brows every two weeks I've been doing it for like about a month now and yeah I'm talking too much so okay we're gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial so let's go okay so I already did one eye off camera and that is this eye right here so I wanted to kind of get a feel for what I was doing I really wanted it to be very smoky and like mossy green so this is what I came up with I actually used my ColourPop of uh, this is one of the monochromatic palettes I actually do have a playlist that you can follow right here I have a bunch of the monochromatic looks so go ahead and follow that card and you'll see I have another look where I just use exclusively this palette yeah this is the palette that I used mostly and I did use two shades out of this palette so we're gonna go ahead and jump into it so to start I'm going to prime my lids by using this P Louise base this is in rumor 5 it's what I use to carve out my um, brow bone and I also put a little bit on the lid but um, the last one I did when I did this I, I didn't have enough on my lid because I just brought down what was on my brow area so let's go ahead and bring that down because we definitely want to make sure that your lid is evenly coated with whatever base you're going to use so for me I'm using the P. Louise base it's a little thinner than if you were to use like a matte soft ochre or um, like an Urban Decay base because the Urban Decay base is more silicone so it's a little more slippery and slidey in my opinion and the MAC is a little more tacky and it's also a little thicker so now that my lid is primed I'm gonna go in with the first brush I'm using my Sigma E25 this is actually pretty old and I'm gonna start off by using this like lime green shade that is this one and this is called keep scrolling so it's like a lime green it doesn't really show up true to color on my lid it probably would if I wore like a white base but since I'm using a skin tone base it works well as a transition so I'm using small circular motions and I'm trying to make sure that I keep this product in the brow bone area bringing it up towards my brows so I'm doing again small circular motions and I'm bringing it all the way to the inner part a lot of this is going to be covered so that's why you kind of you know you really want to get in there as far as with the color because of my skin tone that's why this kind of shows up like baby vomit <laughs> and when holding your brush you want to hold the end of the brush because you want to make sure you're let you're allowing the brush to do all the work so your small, small blah, 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 your small circular motions yeah so now for my second transition color same brush I'm using my Sephora color switch and I'm just going to clean that brush off 
for now and then I'm going in into this palette and I'm using the shade Kiss My Hass. I used to do colors from dark to light. That was the technique that I've been using, but I've gone back to my regular technique where I'm starting with my transition shade and then I'm working the color in and working it up. I find that I blend less when I am, you know, starting light and then building rather than starting dark and then having to blend the shit out of it. So again, small circular motions. You want to bring it slightly lower than where you did that, like, um, that lime green. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm actually placing the brush more so in the socket and then doing small circular motions until I have it fully blended. So now I'm going in with a Morphe M507 brush. This brush is, it's fluffy, but it also has a bit of a point if you can tell. So that's gonna fit really nice. You see how it just dips right into the crevices? crevices I'm going into the shade act natural which is a really pretty like true green like this is so perfect for um, st. Patrick's Day so yeah so I'm taking this green and I'm just lightly dusting it into the crease area again since this is the third color transition shade that I'm using I'm bringing it slightly lower than where I had the act natural shade and I'm making sure that I dust off any excess excess powder that I have on this brush. So you're pretty much just building up that crease area. And when it comes to smoky eyes, that's pretty much what you wanna do. Even when I was doing the dark to light, I like to build up the crease area first and then go in with my dark, dark shadow, whatever it may be just because you get a better transition when you do it that way and sometimes you don't even really have to go that dark. So now I'm going back in with the brush that I used for my transition shades and I'm just using this to soften up the edges of that green and voila. So you kind of want it to have like this glowy look. Okay. So now that we have that, it's time to add the lid shade. Now at this point, if you want to, you can add more of your eye base just so that your lid has that tacky base. And the reason I say that is because like when I did this eye, it got a little um, patchy because the eyeshadow from the top has fallen down onto that lid so it's not 100% tacky. So I am going to add the smallest bit of um, eye base onto the lid and then I'm going to add the eye color which the lid color is going to be Mobama Mobamba Bamba it, it'll be on the screen so and so the brush that I'm using to add this shade is a Luxie concealer brush this is a 211 brush this is one of those concealer brushes that is a little more fluffy than your typical concealer brush. So that's why I like to use it to pack on eyeshadow because, it, I mean, it does it so well. So I'm just packing on that shade right to that area. And you can see the smoky look coming together. So now, just so that you don't have any harsh lines, I'm going to take that same M507 brush and I'm just going to go across the edges so that everything is blended together and there's no harsh lines. It should go from that mossy green to that true green to that um, soft green to the lime green. And I like to bring it, I like to bring my shadows up pretty high close to my brow bone because like when I used to do my makeup, I used to put a um, really bright highlight, but I haven't been liking that lately. So, this is pretty much the smokiness. Now I'm going to go in with my lashes. For lashes today, I'm going in with these Glam, Glam Room Cosmetic Lashes. I believe it's an Instagram brand. The I was actually sent these lashes, like so sweet. Yeah, I was actually sent these lashes and some lip gloss, which I'm gonna wear the lip gloss today. And I these this is called the Sugar and Spice Pack, but the individual ones don't have like a name on it. But the ones that I am wearing today out of the Sugar and Spice Pack is the one that's a little more fluffy. So I would assume that this is the sugary one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on off camera and I'm going to clean up underneath here so that when I do my lower lash line, um, you know, there because I do put my concealer on first, there's no green here, so I don't look like I have like a black eye. So I'll be back one second. 
All right, lashes are on, we're looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on my lower lash line. Um, I do like to put my concealer on before I do my foundation. So before that, I'm going to color correct um, because yeah, your girl is tired. So this is the Maybelline Master Camo in the shade, I believe it's like apricot. Yeah, in the shade apricot. Just wanna make sure that I'm only focusing on the areas that I usually get like dark circles, dark rings. This is a crown brush. I don't even know if they still sell these. This is a mini dual fiber blending brush. The number is C436. So now I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes using my Junius Place Eye and Magic Concealer. This is shade number 14. It will brighten as well. So I'm taking my Juno sponge. This is the pink one. I think it's my favorite color. So I'm just pressing that into my skin using the Juno sponge. What I love about the Juno sponge over the um, Beauty Blender, Kelly did not get in. Over the Beauty Blender is that it doesn't soak up a bunch of product. Okay, so my mic was totally on the floor. So if that sounds a little like far, sorry. All right, so the concealer is on. Now we're going to move on to the lower lash line. I'm going to start by putting on the color. I'm using a Morphe smudge brush. This is the Morphe M508. And I'm going in with the darkest shade. So for me, it's that uh, Mo Bamba. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. But I'm just going to lightly place that underneath the lash line, making sure that I'm just tapping it to the areas that I want to put it. Because like I said, when I was doing my top lashes, this does leave a little bit of fallout now that I have that on. And I have not set my concealer yet. I'm going in with my Morphe M507 brush and I'm taking a little bit of Kiss My Hass and I'm trying to coat the tip of the brush. I'm placing the M507 on top of the Mo Bamba's shade and I'm blending it out. That way, majority of the color is just on top of the Mo Bamba, but the outer portions of the brush will bring down the Kiss My Hass shade, so now it looks more like a smoky eye, you know? Perfect. Okay, so now for liner, I have been loving these colored liners by ColourPop. This is Electric Daisy and it's a really pretty green. That's what I have on under here. You can use black, you can use a brown, whatever floats your boat, but I'm gonna use this um, lime green. Tight lined my lower lash line and then I'm going to add my glitter. That's good. Now I wanna make sure you can see the green. Okay, so now I'm going to add my glitter. Okay, so for glitter, I'm going in with two different glitters. The first one is going to be, again, out of this. If I find the name for this palette, I will have it down in the description box, I promise. But I know that they sell these, um, these glitters separately, like individually. So the glitter that I'm using is called Fire. Yeah, Fire with a Y. Um, and this is by ColourPop. So I'm using that and then I'm using my Amazon Chunky Glitter. So I'm taking this paintbrush. This is actually a kid's paintbrush that my kids don't use. And I'm adding a little bit of the NYX Glitter Glue. This is the glitter primer actually. And I'm going to put this on the inner corner first and then I'm going to add the glitters. And then boom, a also, also a really cool trick on my lower lash line, like my lashes down here, they are so puny. So what I do is I take this, um, this is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Ultra Black Liquid Eyeliner. I don't like these to line my top. I use them to create eyelashes. And then when I coat my lower lashes with my mascara, it just kind of blends everything together and it looks like I have a lot of lower lashes. All right, so that completes the eyes. Now I can go ahead and move on to face. So I'm gonna back you up just a little bit. Okay, so to prime, I'm using my e.l.f. Poreless Primer. This is a, you know, just a regular primer. It's nothing special. It is like a silicone base. It kind of smells like cleaning products. So for foundation today, I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Foundation. This is the um, Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation, and I am in the shade 
0.06 caramel. And then I'm going to be taking a brush to apply it and then I'll go in with my Juno sponge to mix it. And this is a really good foundation. It's a soft matte foundation. If you're my complexion or lighter, unfortunately, their shade range really sucks. So all they have is like, I believe from the tar from my target, this was their darkest shade. I have not checked like their website, so I don't know if it goes any darker, but at my target, this was the darkest shade and I'm not even dark. So, you know, I'm not considered dark skin. So the shade range sucks, it does, it really does. Okay, so I do think that I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use my I Am Magic, my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. This is in the shade number 15. Yes, I'm gonna use 15. And then I'm using my sponge for this and I'm just pretty much gonna blend everything together. And now even though this is a soft matte foundation, it's still tacky, so I am gonna set it using my Bare Minerals Touch Up Veil in the shade Tinted. They only have tinted and translucent, but since, you know, I've got some color, I'm gonna go ahead and use tinted. And I'm using a really big fluffy brush. This is by e.l.f. So I'm just lightly patting this to all the foundation areas. So this doesn't add color, it's just literally a powder that has like a slight tint, you can barely see it. So to set underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder in the shade number two. It is the like banana shade out of all of this and I'm just lightly patting this underneath my eyes. Yes, so I'm not gonna contour but I am gonna bronze. I'm also going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze. I'll have it down in the description box. So I'm just going to lightly place that into on my cheeks. I'm using a Zoeva Luxie Face Definer Brush. This is the 101. For blush, I'm using Max Gingerly. This is like an oldie but a goodie. Like this is one of those ride or die. Like it's just, it's, it's right. It's good. So before I do highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose, and that's another thing I'm gonna do off camera, cause like I said, I'm trying to perfect it. So we'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so my nose is contoured, and I'm gonna move on to highlight. The highlighting palette that I'm going to use today, this is by Smashbox. This was in collaboration with Casey Holmes. This is the Spotlight palette and I have the Gold palette. So I do think that this was limited edition. I'm not sure if they still have it, but I do have the darker one. So I'm gonna go in with this more gold shade in the middle and I'm going to highlight my face. So for highlight, I'm using Crank It Up Gold. That's the same one I just used on my nose. I'm just gonna pop that onto my cheeks. I like to use like palettes like this because you get more than one highlight. So like, let's say that this isn't gold enough for me or it's not bronzy, not shining enough. I can go in with this lighter shade on top. Okay, so now I can move on to lips. For lips, I am using the Glam Room Cosmetics. I believe this is the shade Interlude. I think this is the color I'm gonna go for. If not, I'm gonna use the one called Birthday. So I was going to use Urban Cafe, but I think I want it to be more like neutral tone, a neutral tone lip liner. So I need to use my Attitude by, use my Attitude. I need to use Attitude by Bare Minerals. Found it. So this is Attitude by Bare Minerals and that's what I'm gonna use to land my lips. It's still a brown, but it's more neutral tone than my Urban Cafe. Yes, like I said, I'm going to be using Interlude. Let's see if I like this. I didn't think I would, not with this. Um, it's okay, but I think I want something lighter. So Okay, so this is Birthday Suit by Glam Room Cosmetics. Yeah, I think that's where I want to go. So that completes this look. I hope you all enjoyed this style of doing a tutorial with me. Um, please make sure to like, share with friends, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. It would really mean a lot to me. And until next time, beauties, stay blessed.